Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless. And I saw a TV show just the other day here in the United States. It's called CBS This Morning. And they did a show on the French artist Pierre Salage. And I thought it was so interesting. I looked him up on Google. And what he does is he paints things in black and uses light as reflection. And I kept thinking to myself, let me experiment because I'm looking at these. You could see some of these right now. And I'm, I'm thinking if I experiment, how can we do this in Affinity Photo? Because I think it can create not only some nice artwork, but some interesting backgrounds. And it doesn't have to be black on black. But in this case, I'll start with black on black and maybe I'll try and give it another color and we'll see how that goes. So I hope you like this experiment and you can play around with it and let's get started. I want to change the background to black. So I'm going to say layer, new fill layer, and I am going to make that black, just like that. And I'm, I'm actually going to hide it. And I'll tell you why I'm going to hide it in a minute. Uh, so I will hide that black and I'll add a new pixel layer on top of it. And now I'm going to take a paintbrush and let's pick an interesting brush. So in Affinity, we have oils. And I thought maybe something like this right here on the side. So I'm going to try painting with the oil and maybe just go like that, that. And believe me, I'm not trying to be like Pierre. I'm just trying to get some ideas of things I can do. And maybe we'll pick a different brush. Let's go down here. And maybe something like this. I don't know. So we can go, say, like that. And this is not going to be pretty as usual because I'm doing this. I'm experimenting right now. I have no idea what this is going to look like in the end. But I'll, I'll do some up and down like that. And I do like the streaks more. So how about we streak the bottom? and streak the top. That's my painting. <laughs> and I know you should frame this and you should actually do a screen capture of it and take it home and put it in a frame and put it on your wall. So here, so here's the difference. I kept thinking, how does he do it? He paints black and then black on top of black. So if I turn on the background, you see nothing because it's black on black. So if I take the top layer, which is the brush strokes, and I go to effects, and let's do 3D. Now we have something a little bit more interesting, and I'm going to lower some of that. Let's move this up and maybe play with a little. Now I can just play here and leave it at that, but I thought it would be more interesting to make it 3D. And let's see, let's play around here. We could bring br brightness here, but I didn't want to bring the brightness here. I want the brightness to go down. And the shininess, I'll give it a tiny bit of shine like that. And the reason I'm doing that, I'm again, maybe I have to come back to it, but let's close that out. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to go to the live filters and I'm choosing lighting. And now lighting, we'll see how we can get lighting on the whole thing. Because really in his galleries, what he does is he creates the light by uh, putting spotlights on things. So so when, when it's in the museum, they light it certain ways. And I'm not sure if this is going to work at all. But we're going to give it a try and see. Maybe instead of spot, we give it point lighting. Whoa, that's really a little bit too much for me. Uh, let's try directional lighting and there we go so here so what he does is he kind of gives it these just kind of like that let me go a little closer and again this is not a pretty picture but I'll try some more on in this video and we'll see what I can come up with as I'm doing this but he kind of gives it some kind of direction now, sometimes he even gives it some color, and you can add other different lighting here. And I, here's the amp, change the ambiance and the shine and the specular 
just like we did in any other thing. And let's say, for example, maybe the Aviance will try a blue. I don't know if that's going to do anything, but we can give that a try. And actually, maybe even there we'll put a blue and see what happens. And I see absolutely nothing. So, <laughs> so maybe we can add another light. And I see some blue coming out of this one right here, like that. So that's kind of interesting. Let's see how we're going to do this. And oh, I do like that. So here, yeah, he's had a few where he has the blue shining like that. So I'm going to try and give some blue light there. I kind of like that. Or maybe from the top or from the side. And that's what they did in the museum. So basically what they did was they they kind of lit them up a little differently, each one. I can bring this in like that. And the texture showed. I'm not sure I like that much blue. I can calm it down a little bit. Um, I can change the opacity of the light somewhat. And let's maybe go back to the first one and maybe remove it. So now I just have this blue light, which I kind of like better. And I think it's a nice effect. So you can do different textures. And I thought to myself, hey, you know, it could stay black, by the way. I could just go back to white on the, all of these. Or I could take, um, I don't know, that's too much white. And see how that works. And so that's the main one. The specular light seems to be the one that's affecting it the most. And if I pull back, really just so it's such a touch and then I just go back to the pick tool you have a really interesting effect on this now you can also go back again remember to the pixel layer you can go to effects and you can add to the effects from there too for example if I want to make it really thick I can go really thick like that and let me get closer or soften it. I don't like the soften though. And I can also hit these profiles and change the way it look at that one. Look how they they change the effects there. That's pretty cool. <laughs> this is a really weird experiment for me because like I said, I like to play and I have no idea what I'm doing when I play. And that's the fun of it, because now as I'm doing this, I'm getting ideas for other things. I'm thinking to myself, I can create actual um, landscape art or something like that and just make it in the tonal like this. So I think that's kind of nice. And if you want to add light here, too, I don't know if it makes any sense because you're competing with the other lights. But you could throw in a little color here, maybe. So now they're, the green and the red... Oh, this is crazy. I don't know if that's too much. Let's let's not. I don't know. Maybe let's. Um, okay, we can lower that light, but we can raise it. So now we have green, the green showing up with the red, and we can bring the radius down here or bring it up like that. So <laughs> it's not really pretty, but I thought it was kind of interesting. I mean. I don't know. We could try different things. For example, let's get rid of that. Okay, so let's turn this off again. And by the way, this is what it looked like before. So now let's add another layer on top. Let's go from here. And now that we have another layer, I'm going to just take a paintbrush. And once again, I'm just going to paint a little maybe like this. And a little bit like this. This is not going to be pretty again, but I'm just trying to show you ideas. And maybe like this, and like this, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that. <laughs> and now I'm going to maybe go to here and get some of these smudges and make them a little bit bigger. Hold on, like that maybe. Let's make that bigger and let's just throw some. A little bit of a tree up there. Oh, that's a very bad tree. Let's see if we can change some of that and like that. And now what we can do is once again, 
we can go to effects, turn on 3D, and let's see how much we want to 3D it, a little bit like that. And then we turn the black back on, and there you go, you have this <laughs> magnificent tree. And then if you want to go back to lighting, once again, you can go to lighting, and you can give it, depend on where you want this light to be, and maybe you want that light to be in some kind of a green because it's a tree. <laughs> so you can move that light somewhere. I don't know where exactly, but we could just decide what where you want that green to be. And maybe from the top like that. And let's go back a little. Let's spread it out and a little bit more. And little, we can add more green here. Just add to the ambiance of the green. You could add a, a darker green if you'd like, and or a lighter green, depending on what you're looking for. But I think the darker. And now we go back here and we close that. And let's look at my masterpiece. So there you have it. So <laughs> believe me, this is a little crazy. But I think think about this. Think about you could just do pops of shapes and different kind of things on here. And you can create a very interesting background. Maybe you can even do this. I'll try something else. Let's take this one, say layer, merge visible. So now it's a solid layer. And maybe you just want to try a hue and saturation. And let's see what we can do there. So all the colors here, let's see what we can do. We can change the color. And you can kind of come up with some interesting effects. And I don't know, brightness. You can lower it. You could, uh, you could do really, I don't even know. <laughs> I'm, I'm being a little crazy today. I apologize. I'm just in one of those playful moods and I want to experiment. So that's it. I'm going on and on. And I apologize, but I'm actually having fun and I'm having ideas pop into my head on how I can use this in my artwork. So I hope you can come up with some ideas on how to use it. So if you come up with something and you want to post it, just uh, post it on the YouTube page or the link to it, and I'd love to see it. So thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.